it's I don't know what's RC and in this video we'll show you how to get the Atipas and the Skull Boots. Please take into consideration that this video was made on the day of the release of those items, so everything may not be perfectly accurate. It is also my first time making such a guide. Okay, so let's talk with the requirements. So you, first of all, you will need a decent combat level. But it doesn't need to be very high, because there will be a lot of people to help you fight Atian Skull, but I recommend at the very least level 30. It can be lower, but it might be very hard for you to get the rewards. Also, you will need to be a member to access this holiday event. In this video, I will also show you a method to be sure to hit the uh, Ati or the Skull monster, so you are sure to have a chance to get the rewards. But for this technique, you will need to have at least level 15 range. Okay, so this holiday event is located around the city of Releka. The fastest way to get there is to use the teleport to House Teletab, to Releka if you have done the quest love story or if you have your house there. Another good way to get there is to use a fairy ring, the code is AJR, or you can also use a Slayer Ring or a Camelot Teleport. This is the first setup I will show for the people with at least level 15 range. So as you can see the weapon you will be using is a magic lumbo with rune arrows. The strategy behind this is that the magic lumbo special is nearly 99.9% .9 sure to hit the monster no matter what level the monster is. So this is perfect to get your reward from Atsy and Skull. The rest of your equipment doesn't really matter. For the inventory, the only thing really needed is a way to get there, so either a teleport to house, a slayer ring, or a camelot teleport. You can also bring food, if you're scared to die, you can also bring a super defense or a uh, super range potion. As you can see, I also have logs in my inventory. They are optional, but they will help you summon skull faster. For those who don't have level 15 range, then I suggest to bring the best scimitar you can have, and also the best armor you can wear. The inventory will stay the same. However, with this setup, you won't be 100% sure to hit Ati or Scroll. Those are the main facts about getting an Ati pass. So first of all, the drop rate isn't 100%, so you're not 100% sure to get the pause after killing it. The second fact is that you don't need to hit him a lot, only once. It can be 1 damage, it can be 1000 damage, it doesn't matter. All you need is hit him once. You can only get one pair of Atipas, so even if you kill him 100 times, you will only get one pair. Hati only respawns every 7 to 10 minutes, and he can only respawn in 3 different spots. Those are the 3 spots where you can fight Hati. Where he will respawn is totally random. Okay, so first of all, go to Relica with a Teletab, or with a Camelot Teleport, a Slayer Ring, or a Fairy Ring. Now let's go talk with this girl right there. So you need to talk with her before killing Ati. I don't really know what dialogue you need to do, but simply pick random ones. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so now let's go fight on Ati. First of all, activate your special attacks or you're sure to hit him when you will click attack. Okay, so not in the north place. Let's go to the south place now. So you will have to wait. Instead, you can train fire making and wood cutting. It's very easy. It's not really needed, but if you don't like to waste experience, then you can do this. Okay, so now I slowed <laughs> the video, so you probably know that something will happen. So here it is, Ati. So I will simply click on him, attack, and I will perform the special attack. And as you can see, I managed to hit him the first time. So usually it's very hard to hit him, but with the special attack, you cannot really fail. So as soon as you hit him, you can run away, it doesn't matter, you don't have to continue the fight. But you can of course, and as you can see I managed to get the Ati Clock. Okay, so let's talk about the Skull Boots now. So like the Ati Paws, the drop rate is at 100% and you only need to hit Skull once. So it doesn't matter if you continue the fight as soon as you have dealt at least one damage. Like the Ati Paws, you can only get one pair of boots. There is only one place where you can find Skull and you will need to summon it before killing him. The way to summon it is to put regular logs into the bonfire 
and once the bonfire will be full, the monster will be summoned and you can kill him to get the boots. This is where the skull respawn is, so in the west part of Relica. Okay, so first of all go to Relica with your teletab or any other teleporting device. Now let's go talk with the girl you spoke with for the Atipas. So I don't really know if it's needed, but anyway, it don't cost anything. Now let's go talk to this other girl in the west part of Relica. So like the last time, so like random dialogues, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so this is the bonfire. So as you can see, I'll need 69 more logs until Skull is summoned. So you can add logs by simply clicking on it. And as you can see, having logs from your bank in your inventory is quite useful. So now I only need 36 more logs. So you can go in the southeast part and cut logs. This part is not really needed, but if you want to make things faster, you can do this. And woohoo, summer pies. So you can check once again. Okay, so now he is summoned. So I will use my special attack. This is very laggy right now. So I will use my special attack and attack him. And as you can see, I will manage to hit him the first shot. So this is very useful. Thanks to the magic longbow special. And now you can put protection from melee if you want, it's not really needed. And you can back off too. You have once you deal at least one damage, you can go away and run run away from him and you will still get your reward. So simply wait until he dies. And once he's dead, you will get the skull boots. Well, right now I didn't get them because I already got them before. Now let's talk about the rewards. So while wearing the skull boots, you will get double experience in agility and woodcutting for a certain amount of experience. And this amount depends on your on your level, on the method you will use, and the skill you will choose to train. Those are the results after training agility and woodcutting with different methods at level 99 while wearing the skull boots. Please take into consideration that those right may not be 100% accurate. Okay, so as you can see, the bonus for agility is a little bit lower than the woodcutting bonus. But taking into consideration that the agility is slower to train, it will make you save more hours if you train agility instead of woodcutting. This is why I recommend to use the boots to train agility and not woodcutting. Okay, so let's talk about the Atipas now. So unlike the skull boots, they will double the experience gain in combat, so not agility or woodcutting. So the combat skills are attack, defense, strength, constitution, range, and magic. You will get double experience for 10 hours or till you reach uh, experience limit, which depends on your level. The method you will use doesn't really matter as long as you get to the experience limit before 10 hours. And about the skill you will choose to train, personally I didn't see any difference between range, melee, and magic. Okay, so those are the results. So while training melee, I managed to get a bonus experience of 575k for strength, which is around 4 to 5 hours saved in total. I got exactly the same bonus while training range at the mummies. However, because range is faster to train, you will only save 2 to 5 hours compared to 4 to 5 hours with melee. Still, you will manage to save around 4 to 2 million GPs if you choose range. You can also choose to train magic, but personally I don't recommend to train magic with combat.